Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Renee. Today I'll be sharing some resources I've been using to learn Norwegian. So grab a notebook and hit that like button if you're ready to do this. I've been learning Norwegian during quarantine and it's been about three months now. And it's super fun. It's so, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's sing-songy, so I think that's what, I don't know, it's just, it's just nice, it's a nice language to learn. I know a lot of y'all trolls out there might be saying, why are you learning Norwegian? It's a waste of time. Everyone in the Nordic countries speak English flawlessly, and that's true. Maybe even better than me. However, I don't think that learning a language is a waste of time. It's an investment, you know? It might be more beneficial to learn Mandarin Chinese, for example, but Right now, I don't have a strong enough reason to do so. So, I'm not gonna learn it, you know? I really wanna go to Norway next summer, so that's the reason why I wanna learn it. Even if everyone speaks English there. So Miss Rona best better start packing her shit up because she is not gonna ruin this trip. So that's one of the reasons why I started to learn it. I guess you could say I naturally gravitated towards this language because I already speak English and German. Knowing these two languages opened the door to Norwegian. Even though they're really similar and are like pretty much like sister languages, it's not a complete walk in the park. You know, it does have its challenging side. Like prepositions, I have a lot of trouble with that. Whether it's tea, whether it's pole, whether it's por. But all in all, it's a really fun language. I found this really cool website. It's called the National Norwegian Library or Norway's National Library. And it's amazing because you can find tons, like thousands and thousands of books on this website for free. Obviously, if you live outside of Norway, it's geoblocked, so access is denied. But if you have a VPN, you can change your location. You know, say you're in Norway and have access to it. I use uh, NordVPN and I really recommend it. It's really cool. Some of the books are blocked. Like any, everything that was published around 2010-ish till, till this day is blocked, but everything published before 2010-ish is totally free. And since I'm still a beginner, I am sticking to children's books and I found a lot of Winnie the Pooh books. What I want to do is test myself on camera and with you guys and uh, click on a book that I haven't read yet and I'm going to try reading a page to see how well I do or how poorly I do. <laughs> okay, so here are the Winnie the Pooh books. Waldebrun. And uh, I'm probably going to butcher this, so... <laughs> Bear with me. Uh, okay, I haven't read that this one, so let's start with this one. So yeah, as you can see, the pictures are really... Every, everything is really clear and crisp, so it's awesome. Okay, so let's start with this one. En dag har det brun ikke har det noe å gjøre, så tenkte han at han vil gjøre noe, og sa... Og så gikk han til Nassanuf for å se hva Nassanuf drev på med. Så so en dag Winnie the Pooh hadde ikke noe å gjøre. Så han trodde at han ville gjøre noe. Så han gikk til Nassanuf, Piglets, til Piglets, for å se hva Piglet was up to what he was doing. Dea var begint og snø, og det snøde hele tiden mens Ørle Brun gikk gjennom skogen. So, um, it started to snow, and it snowed the entire time, the whole time, mens while Ole Brum, Winnie the Pooh, Gore, that's the past of Gore, uh, went through the woods, <laughs> the forest. O Brum tenkte med seg selv, nå sitter vel Nassanuf foran pissen sin og varmer tærene sine. And Winnie the Pooh thought, that, or Winnie the Pooh thought to himself, now Piglet is sitting foran, in front of Tyson, sin, ah. Since this is warmer, 
I want to say he's sitting and it's snowing. I want to say he is sitting, that uh, piglet is sitting in front of his chimney, warming himself up, right? Um, let's see. Men nassana far ikka hjemme. Oh no, but piglet wasn't home. Alle brun banket på, men ingen lukket op. Uh, bank po. I mean, just by the context, I want to say he was knocking. Ole brun banket po, men ingen lukket op. So, uh, Winnie the Pooh knocked on the door, knocked, but no one opened up. I guess. Um, brun opnet døra og gik in og kikket efter, men ingen nasserne for at se og se. <laughs> Okay, uh, Brum opened the door, so Pooh opened the door, and he in and walked in, went inside, and he looked after, but no one was to see And something like kick it means, and kicked it, he just kicked it, right? Uh, so to see if, if, Pooh, if uh, Piglet was there, anywhere in sight. Han har gått ut. Det er det. Det er det han er, sa Brun. Så han har gått ut. Så so he went out. Det er det han. Where can he be? Where could he be? Said Brun. Said Pooh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was that. In addition to that wonderful online library I just showed you, I also use this book. It's called Norsk på en, to, tre. And I found it for free online. I'll be, everything I mentioned will be linked down in the description box. So definitely scroll down and click on the links so you can check them out as well. I found it for free online on this website called the VK. It's a community of language learners who share free resources to everyone. If you want, you can also purchase it on Amazon. I didn't find the audio, so I purchased the a license on their website. The only thing I wasn't too happy about was that the it's a license so i only have access to the audio for a year you know i don't have it forever and i'm i mean i'm not going to spend an entire year learning out of this book i mean i'm almost done with it however it would have been cool to just have it you know uh, since i paid for it and maybe i want to listen to it five years from now <laughs> i don't know like i said before norwegian is really similar to english and german so right from the beginning it's an ego booster because you don't, I didn't find it too difficult to understand a lot of what I was reading, right? The dialogues in the book. And you know, I would, I would come across words like odrike or shippa, which are really similar to English, like to drink, to buy, or words like unchil or obestema, which are similar to German, you know, entschuldigung or bestimmen. Being able to understand it from the very beginning has definitely motivated me to just keep on learning it, you know, just like... <laughs> just eat it all up. If you're interested in learning Norwegian, I would definitely recommend checking out this textbook. It has dialogues, the audio is super clear. The lady who narrates most of the dialogues has a sexy ass voice, so it's nice and pleasant to listen to. There are vocab lists and exercises at the end of every chapter, so there's a lot of practice, right? You can even go on their website to download the answer key for free and check your work. On their website, you can even find more exercises to practice. I would hands down recommend this book if you're interested in learning Norwegian. I feel like if you study out of this book, it will definitely get you to the upper beginner level or like the lower intermediate level. Check it out. Something else that I've been using and have found really helpful for any language, you know, not just Norwegian, is bi-directional translation. If you're a language nerd like me, then you probably already know about Luca Lampariello. If you don't, then go check out his channel. He came up with this technique. I'll link a video where he talks about it more in depth, but in a nutshell, you have language A and you have language B. So language A will be Norwegian and language B will be English. You grab a text in language A, so in Norwegian, one that's at your level, and you read it, and once you fully understand it, you translate it into language B, which is English or your native language. After that, you put away the original text, so the text in Norwegian, and you translate what you wrote down in English back into Norwegian. And that's the fun and challenging part, right? After you're done translating it back into the original language, you pull out the, the original source, the original text, 
and you check how you did. Doing this type of translation has helped tremendously. It really helped me to remember the words, to learn the words I've been studying. I would definitely recommend you, you, you try it out as well, you know, for any language that you're learning. I'd also recommend that you get a notebook and use it just for Norwegian to write down all the new vocab words or grammar concepts that you study. The act of actually writing it down with your own hand on a piece of paper helps you to solidify all these new words and get them engraved in your head. You know, just because you say them out loud or read them once, it doesn't mean that you're gonna learn them, you know? Write stuff down, it helps. Trust me. You can also find all the vocab words in the Norwegian textbook I mentioned earlier on Quizlet. So if you're too lazy to create your own flashcards, don't worry, they're all there. Every single one of them. So you can test yourself as well. Another resource I've been using is called Simple Norwegian. It's a YouTube channel. It's a series of videos in which they go around asking people a bunch of questions. So for example, I just watched a video on what's considered taboo in Norway and what Norwegians think of Sweden and the Swedes. It's really cool because you get to hear the different accents and dialects that there are in Norway. You know, you get to hear the diversity of the language. That's all for today and I hope you found this video useful. You know, it's been kind of hard finding Norwegian resources since it's not such a popular language to study. So if you know of any other study material, it'd be awesome if you could share it with me. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more language language learning videos. I wish you the best of luck in your language learning journey. Jeg håper du har det hyggelig å lære norsk. Tusen takk. Ha det bra.